Hi everybody, my name is Marian Erickson. I am from the Nakesley Nation and I am a member of the Beaver Clan. I'm here at the Northern Medical Program where I am the research manager at the Health Arts Research Center. Today I'm here to show you how to do the Birch Bark Hearts Project. So just to get started, I have a few materials. The first one is the birch hearts. We will send uh, maybe one or two because they are quite flimsy. Um, and as you can see, I have poked a few holes into the birch bark hearts. Um, one of the materials that aren't included in your kit is a stick. Um, this I just got from my front yard. Um, and it's an important part of the project. Um, so going out to get a stick, um, you might need something sharp. I use scissors. Um, you can use a knife. Um, also included in your kits is some paint. Um, we will use this paint and write down on our birch hearts um, a health career that we are thinking of doing or maybe you haven't thought of, maybe one that you're thankful for during this COVID pandemic. Um, and I will also send some string. This string is biodegradable for this project so that it is um, great for the environment. So when you're done your birch hearts, you can hang it up in a tree. First thing we do is we take our stick and we pull off all the leaves. Now, because it's springtime, usually the sticks are nice and green, which makes it great for this project because they don't break so easy, but um, it will make it hard to get off. So that's why I suggest getting uh, something sharp to kind of maybe help you break it. Um, now this uh, stick, you see I took off all the leaves. Um, we won't need the whole thing. We could probably break it off again right here. Um, and then to uh, to get this to go in a, we're gonna get this to go in a in a circle. Now, this project I thought of from my grandma who showed me how to make a beaver skin. Uh, stretch and what you do is you just make a hoop out of sticks and this one's just a little one for the birch hearts um, but if you ever do a beaver hide uh, that's the this is how you do it but you get a much bigger stick now as you can see I'm just bending the stick this will get all the little fibers inside the stem of the stick to to loosen up and be able to bend otherwise it'll just the whole thing will just break depending on the kind of um, tree that you decided to get your stick from. Um, so you can hear it crack a tiny bit when it's loosening up. Now one interesting thing that I learned is that one of the strongest sticks is the Saskatoon berry. Um, bush and that one is what we used to use to make our salmon weirs. Uh, salmon weirs um, is the way we used to get salmon before people had nets. We used to create dams on the on the uh, we used to create like a, not a dam on the river but like a traps on the river for the fish to go in and they could only they couldn't get out so we would pick the ones that were the biggest. But anyways, this is how we get it to go in a circle. Now we got it nice and bendy. We can grab our string. Now this string is green, but you'll notice in your kit that um, you're going to be sent random string colors. Um, so, not everybody's string will be the same color. Um, if you don't like the string we sent you, you can uh, find your own. Um, you can use yarn. This one's 100% uh, cotton embroidery string. 
Um, so as you can see here, I'm just going to tie this off. Now this is the same kind of hoop you can d use to make a, a dream catcher. I know a lot of people now they they just get the metal hoops for the dream catchers because they're perfectly circular, but you still see dream catchers that are made the traditional way with the stick. Now, if you have some fancy duct tape, you can actually um, wrap some fancy duct tape around it. I know um, I don't have some here, but if that's something you like, then uh, by all means, decorate this any any way, any which way you want. Um, and like I said before, there is paint in your kit, so you could even paint your stick um, if that's what you like. Um, another another uh, nice way to, to decorate this is you can peel all the bark off your stick as well. And we can think about those healthcare positions and workers and people who are currently working um, in our healthcare system, um, working with elders or working as doctors or working as x-ray technicians. Um, so here is now, this is how I'm going to tie it. So I'm just going to tie a little, a little loop right here, and that will help us to hang it on whatever we want to hang it on. So the next step is getting this birch heart into the hoop to hold like that. Now one of the options you can do with this birch, because it is quite um, an interesting material, we, we used to use it to make all kinds of baskets and containers and um, we even uh, boiled water in it, but um, it is quite pliable material, it's bendy. Um, if you get it wet, you can uh, bend it quite easily. If you have a hide needle and some beads, you can put that around the edge if you like. I'm just going to write the, the healthcare career that I am thankful for um, during this pandemic. Uh, the last part is just tying it off. As you can see, this is what I did. I wrote midwife on my birch heart. And the reason why I'm thankful for the midwife during this COVID-19 pandemic is because babies don't wait for the virus to be over. Um, it's still a very important role that a lot of the people in the hospital are currently doing during this pandemic. Some ideas that you might want to consider is maybe a lab technician, um, the doctors, the nurses, the chemists. You can choose any health career that you're interested in. Um, one of the things you can do is you can hang this in your room or maybe outside um, and just think about if it's your goal to become this position, um, you can think about what you need to do, where you need to go to school, and how you're going to take care of yourself during that time. Um, one of the things that I highly suggest is art. Uh, thank you.